Hi, my name is Steve Stein, and today I'd like to talk to you about one of the most important techniques that you can learn on your guitar. It's vibrato. Vibrato is a musical effect consisting of regular pulsating uh, movement between two different pitches. Uh, that's the definition of it. And what is it really? Well, when you think about a singer, when a singer sings, they don't just sing a static tone all the time. What they do is at the end of that tone that they're singing, they start kind of warbling their voice back and forth and they create this kind of sound. Now, there are many different kinds of vibrato and that's what my goal is for you today is to teach you all of these different kinds of techniques that you can use within the family of vibrato. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, first of all, why is vibrato so important? Well, when you think about playing guitar, when I move up and down inside a scale, The one thing that's lacking in my movements is the human element. And there are many different ways of creating this human element, but one of the most important ways is certainly adding vibrato. So as I'm playing, I add this human element. as I'm playing. Um, and so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna break down some various different styles of vibrato, okay? But the first thing I wanna do before we get into that is I wanna talk about the actions that are needed to create an effective vibrato. The first thing we need to do is understand the fingers, the wrist, and then the arm, and understanding how the vibrato uh, is, is, um, is executed from these three different points. First thing I want you to do is I want you to take your first finger and I want you to put it on the third string on the fifth fret. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to create this vibrato sound with our fingers, with our wrist, and then with our arm. Mostly, of course, our bicep, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're putting our first finger on the third string on that fifth fret. And we're gonna clamp down. Now what you want, want to see here when I'm doing this is that my thumb is actually coming over the top of the guitar. Now there's a number of different ways that I can grab onto the guitar neck to actually play guitar um, and certainly execute the vibrato. The two main ways that you would do this, one way is to have the wrist in a downward position with the thumb directly behind the guitar. And the other way is to have your wrist in an upward position with your thumb on top of the guitar. Now when I do this, I'm actually physically grabbing onto the guitar. So underneath here, my hand, my finger is actually touching the string, and then my thumb is coming over the top. So I'm grasping the guitar neck as I do this. Okay, now what I want to do is with that first finger on the third string at the fifth fret, okay, what I want to do is take that wrist, and I want to start learning how to turn the wrist like I'm opening a doorknob, okay? My thumb is opposed here and I'm turning. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my hand on the, on the guitar and I want you to do the same thing. And let's give this a try. So my thumb is coming over the top, I'm grabbing onto the guitar, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull that string toward the floor. You see how I'm pulling it like that? So what's actually happening is right here on my index finger, this part of my finger is actually touching the bottom of the uh, the guitar here, and I'm actually pushing against that as I pull that string down towards the floor like this. Okay, so vibrato is a movement back and forth between two pitches, and what we're going to do is we're going to start creating some real small elements of vibrato, and then we're going to learn how to get a little bit crazier with these things as well. Okay, so we're grabbing onto the guitar right there. We got our thumb over the top. Now our wrist is moving the, the string like we're opening a doorknob, okay? And this is where I may wind up bringing a little bit more of the bicep in as well, depending on how hard it is to bend those strings and turn it. So what I want you to do is I want you to pick that string for me. I want you to pull it. And then release it back again. Now, the distance at which you're pulling the string and then releasing it back, that initial pull does not have to be a far distance. There's a big difference between a bend and a vibrato. 